Welcome back guys. As you know, my name is Erica and I'm the owner of Beach Babe Soaps. And today we are making loofah soap. It's, I'm embedding loofah slices into the soaps that are gonna go, Jesus Christ. This is gonna be funny later. Welcome back everyone. As you know, my name is Erica and I'm the owner of Beach Babe Soaps down here in Florida. And today we are making loofah soaps. Isn't this cute? This loofah was purchased over in Tarpon Springs. It's a, a little bit of drive for me, but totally worth going out there. Super cute area known for their sea sponges, which I did pick up some of that too, and that'll be in an, uh, another video. But I did also pick up this loofah. It actually was one giant, giant, giant loofah that I brought back and I spent probably a good 20, 30 minutes chopping it up by hand. Yes, I do that. It was fun. I didn't really know what I was getting myself into until I started cutting the first couple of slices. I'm like, hmm, that's, um, this is gonna take a while. And it did, but it was totally worth it because now I have these hand cut individual slices that I'm gonna use for my soap today. The scent that we are using today is Salty Dog with Lime. This is a really good unisex scent. Very kind of beachy. I think it goes really well with the loofah. Um, this one's obviously from Aztec. I got this in, oh, maybe November. Yeah, I got this in November and I'm like, it makes me already miss summer and the fun times and it was already starting to get a little chilly here. I know some of you guys are like, you live in Florida, it never gets cold, but it does for like a week. Then I have to wear closed toed shoes outside and socks. It was a rough week. Anyways, we are using Mad, have you seen in my other videos, it is now Mad Mike, is not Mad Oils. This is just an older container that I've had. And this one's Peacock. And this one's a really cute blue green color. And I was going to go for my all-time favorite color, Tahitian Teal, but I told myself I need to start branching out and using my other micas. So that's what I did today. So we're going to use Peacock, and it's going to be one color soap. So this is going to be a super quick, awesome video. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to add large, coarse sea salt to the bottom. So I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle that in now. Let's see if I can make sure you guys are in, you guys can see this. And this is gonna be on the top of the soap. And I'm gonna put a generous amount of sea salt in there. Sea salt is already in my recipe. I use it as, um, I use it as a hardener, I guess. It doesn't give you a hard bar soap. It just adds to the hardness so I can pop it out of the molds a lot quicker. I'm just going to sprinkle a bunch of that in there and you're going to see that salt on the top side of the finished bar. Make sure each cavity has a good amount in there. It's gonna to add to a little bit of the scrubbiness. I figured since they're, you know, my customer's already gonna use a loofah and they're still, a little extra salt's not gonna hurt anything. And by the way, isn't this the cutest little container that I found? I think I found this one on Amazon or in one of the box stores locally. If I found it on Amazon, look for the link below. It should be down there if I can find it. So, that's all ready to go. Oils have been melted and they're all prepared. And now I need to get my stick blender and we're gonna blend in the lye solution to the oils. Always that way. But what I need to do first is I need to add in my kaolin clay here. And since it's gonna be a single color soap, we're gonna add the mica to the oils. Like I said, it's going to be a super, super quick video. And there's my phone. Oh, 
Okay, where were you? That was my niece. She wanted to come over and come swimming in February. Not trying to rub it in, but we go swimming in February because it's nice outside. Okay, I have to brag on this color just a little bit more. This is really, really pretty. Let's see if we can get a good scoop and see. That's a very nice blue, if you ask me. So we have a little bit more than a pound of oils in here. So we're going to do about a teaspoon of color. That was a little less than a teaspoon. Let's add a little bit more. You really can't hurt soap if you add too much mica, but you will get colored bubbles. So just be cautious of that. I don't want to toss that. Put that aside, put that right here. Get our stick blender. Now I have not worked with this fragrance oil before. So we have to take it one step at a time. Always get to know your fragrance oils before you just go all willy-nilly and add it whenever you think because if you don't know what's going to happen it can accelerate and then you won't have time but add your colors in and it just be a hot mess so when you're first beginning well, m my personal opinion always add your colorants to the to the oils first and then add your uh, fragrance oil to see what happens For those who are, those of you who are interested in making soap, I will leave links down below to blogs and other YouTube uh, YouTubers, I guess they're called. I'm a little old, I'm behind in time, excuse me. I'll leave links down below to blogs and things that I've read before and I've, I trust and I really enjoy their, their teachings on how to actually make soap. I don't really teach soap. I show you guys my ways of doing it. I've been doing this for just about 15 years and I've gotten my own way of doing things. Safe ways, but my own ways. Like you really should be wearing long sleeves and you know, a mask and things like that. I don't, I'm going to say it again in this video. I live in Florida. It's just way too hot to do that. So anyways. Moving on, let's go. We're gonna give this a quick whirl and just get that color all mixed up. Ooh, it's stuck to the side. Gotta burp it a little bit. Let's see if you can get a good video recording of that. Try to get some of that. That's pretty. I always enjoy Mad Micas. Great company great to work with amazing customer service so I'm gonna now add in the light solution to the oils no I don't pour it down the stick blender I'm not worried about air bubbles usually it doesn't happen but like I said if you're just starting out learning do as you told Now that that's mixed in, wipe this down. Get that little bit of mica that was sticking to the side. There we go. I think I got it. I'm going to give this a quick whirl. Get that all started and emulsify. I know with my recipe, I have a lot of playtime, so I'm not worried about adding in the fragrance oil just yet. Okay. Just leave that bottom part in there. Now I'm going to add my fragrance oil. I know I need over one ounce of fragrance oil for this batch of oils. Um, so, and I know that this container holds one ounce or just under. So that's why I get to just pour right in there. Okay. 
Mm -mm -mm. I always love a fragrance that has lime in it. Not so much lemon, because lemon tends to be sweeter than lime. Lime is just like bolder, slightly earthy, just, I don't know, nice. Reminds me of mojitos. <laughs> So far, so good. This fragrance oil is holding up really well. Now, since it's a single color soap and I'm just pouring it right into the molds, I'm gonna to try to get this as thick as possible. Well, not as thick as possible, probably mm, medium trace. It's been a long time since I've I've actually used this less of uh, oils or, or soap batter. I'm usually, you know, way up here and I can swirl and have a lot of fun with it. No ricing, no problems with it. Looks like I got a little bit of ricing in there. Now it does look like the color has morphed a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see into the container. But that's fine. I know we'll go right back to that color that I want. Still very thin, very light trace, but that's okay. Scrape down my stick blender. Gotta save all the soap. Oh, as much as you can. Clean out the blade area as much as you can. Scrape down the sides. Get all that stuff incorporated well. Now that's looking so pretty. looks pretty good. I think I'm just going to go ahead and pour this. Make sure you guys can see. Oh, I did have someone ask me about this mat. This is a sill mat, I guess it's called. I'm not too into baking, but it's, it's the silicone mat that you roll your dough on and you can clean right up. The soap batter, raw soap batter does not affect this at all. It's great to clean up. It, it, I like using it because I use a lot less paper towels. Now a lot of other YouTubers do use paper towels and that's fine, but me, I, I can't do that when there's an alternative. This, I literally just let the soap batter saponify about a day on it and then just next day, wash it off like nothing. And then I get to reuse it. I try to use as much reusable product as possible. I don't like wasting stuff. <laughs> I don't like it. So, and again, everything that I mention or anything, you know, I'll try my best to find it on Amazon for you guys so you guys can do some quick shopping. Got love, love, love quick, quick shopping. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. It's still thin. That's just how my recipe is. My recipe gives me a lot of time to do swirls or anything else as long as the fragrance oil behaves well. And it doesn't give me glycerin rubber. So I'm, I'm tiptoeing on that fine line of lots of swirl time, no glycerin rubbers. So anyways, let's go ahead and pour. Let me switch to my right hand for you guys. Now I'm gonna try to pour slow. so excited look how cute they're coming out oh I can't wait hopefully that loofah stuck down there looks like it did okay now it's now it my trace is accelerating just a little bit 
Hold on, guys. I got to pause you real quick. My phone's ringing again. Okay, now I got all my soap in the mold, covering the loofah. Got to tap, 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 tap that down. You see all those bubbles coming out? Oh, I'm shaking you guys. I'm sorry. Probably the guys are getting like a little headache from that. Hold on. Let's see. Oh, this is work. Just gonna transfer this onto here. Hold your breath. <gasps> okay, got it. All right. Now that's on a tray, like it should have been at the beginning. Learn from my mistakes, guys. Learn from my mistakes. Anyways, now that now that it's on a tray, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna bang this on the ground. I'm gonna fill it back up with the soap. Okay, now the loofah is down to the bottom, which will be the top. Tapped out all those air bubbles. Now I'm going to pour the rest of my batter in there. Now you see that the fragrance oil did accelerate pretty well, which is fine. I had a feeling it was going to, that's why I'm like, oh, just do a single color. but it's not going super duper fast. And I do have extra molds for the rest of this here. Scrape down everything, get all ready for my next mold. Kinda pat it down a little bit. Hopefully I didn't break the, try to get some of this back out of here, over there. Get these even as possible. That works. Try not to be, try not to be too finicky with them. So, do a little cute little swirl or something on the back. Okay. So for the rest of this, let's see. I think I'll just use my. Kate's a little. to the side here. Oh, that soap is getting warm. I think I'm gonna do something extra a little a little extra cute with the leftovers. 
it's always good to have extra molds on hand, let me tell you. trying to get to where y'all can see, but a little difficult. That's my little girl. Sounds like she just got done with her homework. She's getting ready to work in the garden out, out back. Okay. Phew. Okay, we got it. We got the soap in there. Sorry, I was a little quiet. I'm like, oh boy. Gotta concentrate on that. Don't wanna waste any soap, right girls? You don't wanna waste any soap, right? Right. Okay, done playing with it. <laughs> Clean this up just a tad since I have a little towel there and there you go now I didn't measure out this round mold beforehand the loofah obviously takes up some of the space so I just winged it and that's why I had a little extra but now I know how much extra I'll have so I can reformulate my soap recipe in my soap program and I won't have so much waste so there you have it I'm gonna unmold these 12 to 24 hours later I do like I've said before in my other videos I do a steep water discount so I'm able to pop these out a little quicker than a typical recipe I suppose but I'll bring you back and show you what they look like on the other side all right see you later